Welcome to Train Signal. I'm Ross Bagertis, and in this video, we're going to learn how to build the routing table on some Cisco routers. Now, there are two ways really to build a routing table on any router. One of those mechanisms is with a static route or static routes, and the other mechanism is with dynamic routes. The difference here is that static routes are manually configured by an administrator and they are individual, so they are specific routes to specific networks. And we enter them one at a time individually on each individual router. Dynamic routing protocols, on the other hand, are configured by the administrator so that routes are automatically distributed throughout an internetwork of devices all running the same routing protocol. It is somewhat of an automatic way of establishing routes on routers. This is in contrast to using static routes. A lot of times newbies in this field ask me why I would ever want to learn static routes if there's a way I can do it automatically. And this goes back to something that is very much ingrained in our brains as newbies in data networking. And that is when we buy a piece of networking gear for use in our home, we buy that at some big box store like Best Buy or Walmart or Target or something. When we purchase that device, it comes pre-configured out of the box, ready for us to use. We plug into it. It's all automatic. Magic, right? It's magic. When a Cisco router comes out of the box and we're using it in an enterprise or even a small business, that device comes out of the box blank. And it's up to us as the administrator to figure out how it works. So what we oftentimes end up doing as administrators is we use the dynamic routing protocols to do the big step, the big, easy, basic distribution of routes in our routing table. And we use static routes for the fine tuning, for the very fine grain routes that we need for very specific things. Static routes are heavily, heavily used in an internetwork. And we really need to understand how they work at a deep level. So let's dive into it. 